Welcome to another Stamp with Cynthia video. Today I'd like to show you just how easy it is to create a beautiful, beautiful, sparkly, shimmery Christmas card using the new Ornamental Pine stamp set that Stamping Out brought out in the most recent holiday catalog. This, by far and away, is my favorite stamp set of that catalog, and I'm about to show you why. Let's get started, shall we? I'm starting off with a piece of Naturals Ivory cardstock. And the first thing I'm going to do is to stamp my sentiment. I'm using the Early Espresso ink for my sentiment. Just put my Christmas wishes down here near the bottom of the card. Next I'll come in with Always Artichoke ink. I like the look of the Always Artichoke with the actual pine boughs. So I'll give myself one there. Maybe some more here. Oops. Up in the corner, there. I'm happy with that. Okay. Back to the early espresso ink and I'm going to give myself a few pine cones. And of course your placement of the pine cones is completely up to you. But they are just completely gorgeous. The next thing I'm going to do with this card is some sponging. Now, trust me, I have generated a lot of ugly looking <laughs> counters with this sponging. Normally, I sponge quite discreetly around the edges. But for this card, I like to make it a little more dramatic. So I, I come in up darker around the, around the corners, almost like a, a looking through a lens or a sepia, an old, I guess it's, it's like looking through a lens. That's what I'll call it. I frame my entire card. And of course, the amount of sponging you use is completely up to you. You can be very, very discreet with it, or you can do the edges quite dark the way I am. The one thing I have found in doing this card, because I did 113 of them for, as my founder circle swap, is that I tended to get a lot of fingerprints on the card because you do work with so much ink. And the nice thing is, because you have so much sponging, the fingerprints tend to fit right in. And I'm certain that if some of the other Founders Circle members examined their cards, they would see my fingerprints. I'd, I'd better not commit any crimes in the near future. My fingerprints are on record. All over the place, all over the uh, Canada, the United States. Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with that one. Get rid of this ugly sheet from behind us. There, hopefully that'll look a little nicer as we finish up the card. The next thing you need to do, you cover the entire card with Versamark. That's right, the whole thing. Because the secret to the glitter on this card is not dazzling diamonds. It is not actually glitter. I'm using iridescent ice. Iridescent ice is one of the embossing powders we sell. It's a clear embossing powder that has glitter in it. I suppose that's how you could talk about it. So I'm just going to use that. Now, what I'm going to do first, I would like to be able to hold onto the card somewhere. So I'm just going to heat emboss one of the corners. As you can see, I only heated this one corner. Basically, I want some place to hold on to. After doing many, many of these cards, I realized I need some place to hold on to, otherwise I end up with a, a void. So there. Now that the entire card has iridescent ice on it, you can see it's got kind of a milky look to it. Now 
you'll see that not only is the entire card sparkly and beautiful now, nothing comes off on your fingers. That glitter is held there permanently. Now I did find that if I put this card front onto a Naturals ivory card base, it was just a bit stark, I think, around the edges. So what I like to do is come in and just sponge very, very quickly the edges of my card front. I'm not being very careful or meticulous. I just want to get rid of a little bit of that, that stark outline. Now when I put my, my card front back on, it's not quite such an obvious difference. I'm going to use a few well-placed dimensionals. Oops. And lo and behold, the card is done. Isn't that just the easiest, most beautiful Christmas card you've seen? And as I said, the secret to all of that beautiful glitter, sparkle and luster, is just iridescent ice embossing powder.